Welcome back to the Romania River channel and my playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm going to have to head for D now. That would be the easiest to handle. Actually, where are you, dog? Come here. What I've got for you, you'll love this. He needs food too, you know. Yeah, this is the right way. Across here. I think. Yes, I can. You found something, haven't you? Must be a survivor. And I guess it's over here. That's all, just a nest. Okay. Thank you for the info, but not what we're looking for right now. Are you mad, Jack? 
shouted like that. But I have to find Pavlena. She got lost when we were running in the night. It's still not safe here. Shouting like that is asking for trouble. But I have to find her. I can't leave without her. Will you help me? What was Pavlina wearing? The same as always. A blue dress and she had a scarf on her head. Where did you see her last? In the woods here. We were hiding from those demons. I didn't think they'd come here, but when it was getting dark, they found us. They came upon us from behind. I think we surprised them as much as they did us. We started to run and it was horrible. One arrow missed me by a hair. I thought I was done for. I ran and ran and then I found myself alone. I lost those bastards, but Pavlena too. I have to find her. You should keep your voice down. There could still be cutthroats within earshot. But... This must be that Pavlina that Madosh was looking for. Dead. I should go and tell him. Any more arrows I can use? She took one straight to the heart. No, not the heart actually, but still would have been a pretty quick death. She's dead. They must have caught up with her when they were chasing you. Oh, no, no, no. My Pavlena. I should never have left her like that. I thought... I thought she was right behind me. Jesus, what am I going to do? You should flee. And save yourself, at least. I... I don't know what to do now. Where can I go? Go to Tomberg and tell them everything. Sir Divish will send help and... And then we'll come back and bury our loved ones. I promise. All right. What about you? I'll keep looking around for other survivors. If I had half your courage, Pavlena might still be alive. Oh, God. Take this. Maybe you'll come across someone who needs it. God be with you. We still got shit to discover. Yeah, this can be dug up. Why well, I would want to do that? I don't know. I got enough shit to deal with as is.
We're gonna rebuild this place, I feel. There. Where is it? Where is it? Julian? Is it you? Don't be afraid. It's me, Teresa. Are you alright? Everywhere. They're everywhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where's what? I don't understand you. Cutter. Woodcutter. They're everywhere. I need it. Oh my god. Listen, if you stay here, they might come back and kill you. You wouldn't want that, would you? No! Cutter! Where is it? This is going nowhere. This is hopeless. How am I going to get through to you? By getting him his Cutter. Which I would imagine is this. Julian, pull yourself together. Here's your axe. That's what you were looking for, right? Now you'll be safe. Cutter. Yes. My cutter. Good, Julian. And now, get to Tomberg. The others are already on the way there. Run like the devil and don't look back. Tomberg. Yes. Would have been lovely to have kept it, but yeah. Let me check, so... Oh yeah, I hope I don't die. 30 minutes worth of progress lost is not fun. gonna just walk off and leave it. Listen, maybe you could help me. I've heard you mill people know how to. Why can't you unlock the door? Don't you have the key? Of course I do. That is, I did. I was bringing firewood from the woods. Just as I got to the footbridge, I dropped everything and ran home as fast as I could. I must have dropped that blasted key on the way. All right. I'll try and get that coin for you. Where is it hidden? This damn door is as solid as a rock. Once you get inside, go to the pantry on the left. There's a sack of apples in there, and the purse is hidden right at the bottom of it. Get it, and bring it to me. What bridge? There.
Let's see what you see. You think there would be something around here? And that is the footbridge. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it wants me to get him some quest log. How do I get the key? Which footbridge did he mean? That one or that one? It could mean that one too. Let's go check. That one does have a accident. That's fairly heavy. So oh, let's see here. So with this stuff we can't really part with for obvious reasons. Hmm. 
Where the hell did you lose that key? Oh, let's see. Kingdom Come, Angel of Mercy, Potters. Didn't encounter anybody. Hmm. So let's see here. I think I need to talk to the father. He might have a lockpick. I think I actually killed the enemies that were supposed to be in the area. I'm back. Where do you think he might have dropped the key? I'm not sure. It must have been somewhere along the path from the woods. After I passed the footbridge, I was carrying firewood when the raid started. I dropped everything and ran. The key must have fallen on the way. Calm now. Don't play the innocent. We all know your father is no saint. My father is dead. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, lass. I didn't know. I have to go. So we're looking for wood. Would have been towards the forest. So that's the footbridge. But where did you lose it? That is the question. That's an axe. There they are. This could be the key the Potter lost. Okay. Are we hopefully going to finish up the DLC this episode? I'm gonna try and do it. With all the horror that's going on, he wouldn't have thought twice about killing us on account of money. People can be swine. They see a corpse and come swooping down like carrion crows. You shouldn't feel bad about it. He got what he deserved. Take the money. Take it and go to Tomberg. Warn them there and tell them to send help. I'll have a look around the village for survivors. I'll do that. Take care of yourself, Teresa. And 
And with that, we should be done. That way is the gate. But is it a useful gate? Doesn't look like it. The other way. Hey, come on, come on. Onion! Bredo. I'll be finding it on your corpse. Now we know what happened to Tinker. Time to John Wick some bandits. Hopefully. Just about enough of you. Hey, go fuckers! That's the. Uh, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You've been through it yourself. I know you understand. There's something else I'd like to ask. 
Your pal really wanted to marry you off to Master Tobias. Yes. Can you believe it? And have you spoken to Master Feyfar since, since the raid? I haven't. Either he's lost interest, or he's forgotten about me. Not that I'm complaining. Uncle Peshek would be happy to marry me off too, especially if there was something in it for him. I'm glad that's in the past. Aye, I don't blame you. Remember how we were sword fighting together? The next morning, Ma scolded me on account of that scratch on my hand. Oh dear, <laughs> sorry about that. Ah, it's all water under the bridge now. I never told her it was you who did it. I just wish you could have covered my back too. She was angry that I was at sword training instead of working in the forge. And she said you told her. Your pa and Stebor were really stealing from the royal mines. Jesus. I don't think even Fritz and Matthew would take that kind of chance. And there's not much that pair won't do for an easy groschen. Yeah. In a way, I can understand that Pa did it for us, but it was really irresponsible. You won't kill anyone, will you? I won't. I promise. So what happened to the silver? I suppose the guards must have found it. And no doubt those cutthroats took it from them. The anchor told me something about your little expedition to the woods. You really ran into a wolf. I thought Bianca must have been imagining things. Not exactly. It was actually a wild dog, but... Paul used to say those are even worse than wolves. It's a good thing you were there with Bianca. Going back to help the survivors. It was very brave of you. When I went back to Scallops, I met no one but footpads and cutthroats. If you hadn't come along, I doubt I'd be here to tell the tale. You know what our parish priest always used to say? Without Christian charity, we'd all soon be dead. I couldn't just leave you all to your fate, could I? Any good Christian would have done the same. Well, I'm not so sure. Not everyone has your courage. Did you go back to Scalitz again? To bury your power and your brothers? Yes. Along with some more of our neighbours. We had an escort from the Ratai garrison. With Sir Hamish's kind permission. Where are they buried? Sammy's buried near the mines. He didn't like the mines. But his grave is on the hill, where I used to meet him for lunch. He loved it there. I know it's not consecrated ground. But what could I do? God will understand. I buried Ma and Pa under the linden tree by our house. It's what they would have wanted. Yes. Father and Stebor are buried in the churchyard in Rothna. Once things settle, we'll be able to go back and pay our respects. Get the priest to bless their graves. I have no more questions. Thank you for telling me about everything, Teresa. I know it isn't easy to talk about. It helped to talk to someone who knows what it's like. Thank you. I'm glad you came out of it in one piece. Yeah, so am I. And I'm glad you did too. By the way, Henry, I have something for you. The soldiers gave it to me when we brought you from Scalitz. I meant to give it to you earlier, but, you know, it belonged to one of the Scalitz garrison. They wanted me to have it for being brave, but I hope I'll never have use for such a thing. Oh? How come? What is it? It's a shield with the Scalitz crest. I'd like you to have it, to protect you, and as a keepsake from home. Sure. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks for everything. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. I've brought you something. Hey, lad! Don't you want a little wager on the Rathe Corners? Is this for me? This must have cost you a fortune, but I like it very much, thank you. You really mustn't bring me any more gifts like that, or you'll spoil me. So, uh, how have you been? I can't stop thinking about Scalitz. I know. It was hell. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? 
At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? That's not a bad idea. Then where would you care to go? What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Let's go. Do this and then we'll call it. Shouldn't take more than ten minutes. That was a good idea to go for a walk. Not that I don't like the milk, but you get tired of it. So I'm glad you took me out. I really should get rid of something. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. So many assholes. <laughs> That's disgusting. I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too, so don't give me any of that. You scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. I'd never dare to suggest such a thing. Tell me what. Let's not dawdle. She does like to run a wee bit, doesn't she? Hmm. Okay, good thing I'm a marathon runner. Next to me, Hal. Hmm, vitality. And what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well, and I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? Oh, it's endless luxury, money, banquets, games stuffed with other games. <laughs> a chicken stuffed with... stuffed with a frog. Yeah, and that's nothing compared to a frog stuffed with a chicken. <laughs> a goat stuffed... <laughs> <laughs> with a pig? <laughs> Then. Oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. Phew. The only one here whose head is all messed up is me. How do you always manage to look so good? Just look at the lady killer. Where did you learn to talk that way? Mm. I don't recall which church service it was exactly. <laughs> you scoundrel. 
But you certainly know how to make a girl feel special. You may continue. But now I have to go. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. Nice. But that's it. We're gonna leave it off here, ladies and gentlemen. Catch you guys and gals next time. Thank you for watching, or more precisely surviving up until this point, because guys know the editing's kind of interesting and my voice has a melodic tone to it. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, it does help out the statistics of the channel, gets more visible, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, at one point I would like to actually make this a job so I can do better content with better quality, more games, more coverage, you know, stuff like that. Take care.